Welcome back. We have David Martin here to give us our weather update. So, David, last few days, pretty muggy, not yeah. my type of thing. Mm -hmm. How are the next few days looking ahead of us? We got some uh, hope in sight for some drier weather. Yeah, you know, it has been muggy. It's been, I see, I'm from the South Mississippi, and it has been reminding me of home. It's just been, you walk outside and you're instantly drenched in sweat. Absolutely. But today was a lot better, and tomorrow's even going to be better yet. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to that forecast here in just a few moments. Let's take a look at that, uh, look at some of our current conditions. Currently, it's 87 degrees. Uh, we have a heat index of 88 with that 64 degree dew point. Um, our winds a little gusty today out of the west 15 miles an hour gusting toward 20 and that pressure is right around 29.91 inches. Now as we go into our weather almanac you'll see that today we are sitting at that current high temperature of 87 degrees. That's a little bit above our average of 81 but it's not as bad as 103 like it was back in 1947 and our low temperature was also about five degrees above our average of 58 that record 42 back in 92 and we are uh, sitting about a uh, almost an inch and three quarters below average for what we should be with some precipitation so even though we seems like we've been having a lot of wet weather it's still not uh, it's still no, we're not not seeing as much a uh, uh, precipitation as we should by this time. Now something that I found a little interesting is for the, f for the first time in my memory, Minnesota is actually sitting at the, as the state with the highest amount of tornadoes in the entire country. And um, most of that is 49 tornadoes on, on June 17th, especially that day that when Wadena and Albert Lee got hit. But look at this, we're sitting 12 tornadoes more than Texas, and Texas is a very large state, and we're even doing more than uh, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Colorado, who are sitting at 80, 70, and 60, respectively. Now, as we go into some of our head, uh, weather headlines, I did uh, mention a temporary cool-off. It won't be as muggy, but we do have that chance of storms coming back into our future in this coming weekend. Now, as we look at the radar, we, um, there are some spotty storms up in northern Minnesota, and uh, the weather system that actually cooled us off uh, there was when it came over Minnesota the air was way too stable so we didn't see any storms or even a shower but as soon as it moved out of Minnesota all these sh uh, showers and thunderstorms started popping up and even down into Ohio they've been seeing a lot of severe weather in the form of destructive wind gusts now as we go for the rest of today there are severe storms possible from Wyoming following this cold front into Ohio and this cold front has a lot of moisture with it and as you can see there are spots he here along this front where there actually expecting some f uh, flash flooding to occur on some of the rivers. Now as we go into tomorrow, that storm system will be moving off into the east coast. Our next weather maker will be starting to dr make its appearance known in northern Minnesota, not so much here in, um, in uh, central Minnesota. We go into Friday and that front starts to creep down and that'll be our next chance for any showers or thunderstorms going into the weekend. Now as we look at tonight's forecast, uh, partly cloudy skies look Looking pretty nice. However, I can't rule out a possible storm to pop up uh, sometime this evening, although once the sun sets, those would dissipate. Our low tonight, right around 60 degrees, so right around that average. Now, as we go into tomorrow, expect mostly sunny skies, a northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, and it's going to be nice and comfortable. 78 degrees, our high temperature. That low, right around 55, so it's actually going to feel really actually comparatively cool uh, at nighttime. We go into that three day forecast and like I said, Friday gonna be absolutely gorgeous. Sunny, sunny skies high around 80 degrees. And on Saturday, that's when we start bringing in our next chance for um, uh, any showers and storms. About a 40% chance of some scattered storms as that, that front drops in from Canada. Now let's go ahead and look at that five day forecast. I uh, Nearly the entire weekend, we do have at least a little chance of some storms, maybe a little break Sunday evening into Monday morning, but then once again Monday afternoon, we do bring that chance for storms as another system starts making its way into the area. But uh, but and then back around Sunday, it's going to start getting warmer again with those highs in the mid to upper 80s, and that humidity will start building back in. So tomorrow will be nice, a little cooler, less humid. But if you have outdoor plans tomorrow or Friday. 
get out and do them. Hey, good to hear. So the air conditioner can get a couple days off. Yeah, here tonight. You shut it off for a little bit. Open up the windows. Let that nice, fresh, dry air get in. Because I don't know about you guys, but I've been running my AC and I got that that uh, energy bill, and I was none yes, too sir. pleased. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, it's been really hot and humid all across the country. So yeah. Yes. Well, good to hear. I'll I'm sure my AC will uh, like to take a day off. <laughs> exactly. Sounds Thank good. You, Thanks, David. David. Sure.